The title of my talk is Squaring the Bag and Other Puzzles for Classroom. Uh, by the way, uh, sometimes Japanese name, uh, names are tricky for you. Uh, in my case, um, uh, my uh, nickname uh, Iwahiro and my uh, last name Iwasawa both include IWA, Iwa, but uh, it really sounds like Iwa. So, um, uh, for example, uh, so uh, if you ask me, so what is your last name? I answered, you are sour. So, uh, so may, you may think, so uh, why? Okay. <laughs> okay. And and uh, maybe um, uh, I may so uh, my my self introduction uh, may start from, uh, hi, I am your hero, right? <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, uh, so uh, another example is, uh, uh, if you ask me, uh, who is your hero, <laughs> then <laughs> maybe I misunderstandingly uh, reply, that's me, nobody else, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, uh, my talk is about uh, uh, squaring the bag. Uh, this is my uh, puzzle design, and happily and luckily, uh, it won the Puzzlers Award in 2012 puzzle design competition, and yeah, so uh, it is so famous uh, in the uh, mechanical puzzle world, uh, but it's not so famous uh, in outside the world that that world. And usually, I don't care much about whether or not so uh, my puzzle or my puzzle is famous uh, for general people, but I think this puzzle is very good not only for uh, puzzle collectors, uh, but also for uh, general people. So, um, uh, and yeah, actually, uh, the goal uh, of this puzzle is very simple: uh, to place the square, the, the square board, completely inside the bag. And it consists uh, only of a, a square board and a rectangular bag. And the dimensions of the rectangular bag is two by one, here the length of the diagonal of the square board is two. That's it. Uh, so uh, the goal is easy to, very, very easy to understand. And the parts are very simple, geometrical figures. And, but the puzzle is challenging to solve. Therefore, it must be very good, not only for puzzle collectors, but also for classroom, I think. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I, I'd like yeah you uh, to copy so uh, so for your own so the use of course don't don't say it but uh, uh, but uh, so but I want so teachers to use this puzzle uh, in their classroom uh, but there is a problem uh, it's not easy for most of us uh, to sew a bag with precise dimensions right. We should consider. Uh, we should think about the materials, and an idea would be um, use uh, paper, paper sheet. Uh, but uh, so this one. <coughs> yeah, it's true that very easy to make like this. But um, actually, so um, paper is too hard for this part. So uh, so if you use paper like this for this puzzle, the first step to solve this puzzle is, must be, you know, <laughs> so soften the paper. So it is not at all elegant. Yeah, are we? So uh, my, uh, my recommendation is this. So I recommend that you should use a, a strong plastic bag like this. Yeah, very cheap. You can, yeah, and um, uh, yeah, corrugated cardboard like this. Yeah, okay. And uh, so uh, first, uh, you cut a two by one. Yeah, okay. A two by one, two by one. Okay, a rectangle from the bottom part of the bag. And second, cut an um, yeah. Uh, in that case, so, oh, oh, oh. yeah, here. 
and then cut an appropriate size square from the board. That's easy, right? So teachers can make very, very, very easily. And yeah, that's it, complete, completed. So, um, and uh, similarly, uh, you can make a generalized one uh, correctly in the back, uh, which is also uh, my design. And it, it uses not a square board, but a rectangular board. Uh, plain boards would be very good for uh, geometrical thinking, I think. Um, and yeah, uh, its dimensions are as shown in the figure. And so maybe you can make, can you see? Maybe, no? Okay. Uh, so very tricky one. So it's, yeah, almost in the back, but no. Okay, can you see? Maybe no, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, and um, uh, so if you want to go further, uh, there are many so relevant mathematical puzzles. And uh, this is one of them. It's a very tough one. Uh, I read, um, uh, imagine a cover that perfectly fits a uh, cube without any overlap or excess. Uh, it is removable as it has a zipper. Right? And an example is shown in the diagram. Uh, the cube is rigid and the cover is made of some fabric that is sufficiently soft and thin but absolutely unstretchable. The zipper has only two endpoints, uh, that is to say um, it has no branches. The problem is uh, what is the shortest possible length of the zipper, right? And it, yeah, it's really a tough one. So, um, and uh, there are so relevant ones. So how about the corresponding problem for regular tetrahedron or how about for regular octahedron? Yeah. These are yeah, so uh, example uh, puzzles, mathematical puzzles, right? So um, yeah, uh, that is a presentation by your hero. Thank you. <laughs>